It's my birthday. I was born on July 5th, 1955. Please pardon the sound of the hailstorm in the distance here in Trinidad, Colorado at this moment. Um, it's July 5th, it's about a quarter of six at p.m. And um, yeah, we've this second hailstorm today. We've had two. Yeah, that's uh, really something. It's coming down. But anyway, I was really just uh, phoning in here to say that I just have one wish for my birthday. One wish for my 68th birthday. I wish that the entire world would legalize all of the drugs that people buy illegally. Simply that. I just wish that, pe that the, the, the entire world would legalize all the drugs that people buy illegally. Now, why do I say that? Well, it's because um, then all of the money that is paid by everybody on the whole planet for illegal drugs, instead of that money going to the drug lords, drug dealers, uh, hired killers who take part in the, you know, it's the self-policing of the illegal drug industry. They have to police themselves. You know, when, when, when someone selling illegal drugs uh, owes somebody else a million dollars, the, the, the person who, uh, who, who wants that money can't go to the police. They have to go to a hired gunman. They have to, you know, self-police themselves. I guess you hear this hail. It's pretty impressive. Let's just take a moment for the hail. This is, this is what our present system is doing to the world. It's like hailing on the world because we are making it so that everyone who wants certain drugs, certain drugs, lots of other drugs are legal, millions of drugs are legal or countless number. And, um, but a lot of drugs that people want that they'll pay a lot of money for are illegal. And so all that money, illegal money, goes to these evil, bad, criminal, mean, you know, well, drug lords. Well, they have to self-police themselves, so it gets ugly. It gets terrible. I mean, you know, beyond belief in terms of the cruelty that goes on in this world because of the self-policing of the illegal drug industry. And it's really not even the illegal drug industry's fault that they have to... That, that, that the situation is what it is. They share fault. They're half uh, guilty. But the other half is our governments who don't let people buy the drugs that they want legally. Legally. If, if they could buy them legally, the money would at least go into our system. Doctors would be prescribing these drugs. They would be, um, you know, the money would go not just to the doctors, but to the entire health system, to the entire production of the drugs. I mean, we would take over the whole thing. We would take all the money from, let's say, the illegal side, and we would bring it all into the legal side. And guess what that would make happen? The illegal side would disappear. The illegal side would just... Just done, done, because the money isn't there, so they just uh, do the next best thing they can think of to do, just like all people do. It's um, it's uh, amazingly doable, and I've got to at least go into some of the other uh, side effects. Um, the well, as I alluded to, the self policing, the the the, the gun. Uh, uh, um, violence on, on our city streets, uh, that would just almost disappear overnight. It would be insane because it didn't used to be this way before we started the war on drugs. So that's why I say it would disappear overnight because when we stopped the war on drugs and started the war to save people who were on drugs, then 
the violence of the war on drugs would just, it's just, it's gone. It's like, where was that? Where was that? That's what it was like when I was born. That's what it was like before 1972 when the drug war started. And um, the difference between then and now is night and day, separate from all the race issues and sexual fairness issues that have changed since then. Yes, there have been a lot of positive stuff since 1972, but the drug violence issue, criminality issue has exploded beyond belief, exploded beyond belief since 1972. We're talking about 700% more people per capita in our prison system, incarcerated. So that's just completely unacceptable. So for my birthday, as I said before, I just really wish that the United States and the whole world would legalize the drugs that people are addicted to so that doctors could prescribe them safe, pharmaceutically pure versions of the drugs they're taking already and thereby take all the money from the chaotic side, all the money from the drug lords and drug gangs and hench people and stuff like that, take that all into our medical system into our hospitals, into our doctor's offices, to help the people who are many on the street, help them uh, uh, get it together. Now, we just have to accept this. And like I said, that's all that I want for my birthday um, is to legalize all drugs everywhere for doctors to prescribe them within our medical system. And... I can't really think of anything bad that would come of that, really. It's just like, what are even people people even worried about? Um, it, it, it actually wouldn't get a bit worse, and it would just get better and better and better and better and better and better. Um, yeah, we'd have more freedom of, of, of peace, peace in our lives. Uh, that's... That's all that I can imagine. Um, oh, I, I, I just wanted to add that, that accidental overdoses would disappear completely. The idea that people accidentally overdose from these drugs, gone, gone. Because once they get it from the doctor and it's pharmaceutically pure, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and they actually know what they get, they will not accidentally overdose. Now you can say someone might overdose on purpose. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, uh, that would be terrible, but but we have t most overdoses are accidental overdoses where people get literally on the illegal market. They get oh well, gee, I thought I bought one and I actually got a hundred, but it's all still in this one little pill. It's a hundred instead of one. It's a, but it's just one pill, and it's like so they take it and they die because they took a hundred. The doctor would give the person, you know, 30 pills per month, 30, and each pill would be one pill, not 100 pills, one. And they would take one each day. And then they actually could go about their business. People actually can go about their business and hold down jobs when they have drugs. They just don't have to be shooting them up, getting them illegal on the streets in insanity. So my birthday, please... Make all drugs legal for doctors to prescribe and make them pharmaceutically pure and take all the money from the illegal drug industry and bring it home for my birthday, if you don't mind. Thank you. Just please do that. If, if the world would just do that for, for me for my birthday, I'd, I'd appreciate it. So cheers for my birthday. Yeah, cheers. Hey, this is legal, and you can kill yourself on this shit. That's vodka with soy milk. Yeah. Mm. Okay, folks. Thanks. Thanks for seeing my birthday thing. I'll uh, see y'all next year or maybe sooner.